Hey friends, okay, so I'm making a video because I've gotten a lot of text messages and I know a lot of messages are going around. I thought my email was fairly clear, but I wanna make sure that everybody knows what's going on tonight. We are running the two blocks on Saturday in the order that I have placed the dances in. Stage one does not do the order for us, we have to choose. We have two separate blocks. The, the times on the sheet that I sent are for tonight for running the dances. It will go just like last week, only no costumes for production. And I reversed the blocks so that the littles could go home early. The block with the senior dances, group dances, will actually be first on Saturday. The reason I have not sent a stage one schedule is because they have not confirmed my times. So on one schedule, it says I start at two o'clock. On one schedule, it says I start at 146. So I don't wanna send an email that's incorrect just to have to send another one. So tonight, the email that you received said no parents in the lobby. If you absolutely need to feed your littles, you can put go in the front room and feed them or sit with them. Um, but there's no parents at all in the lobbies. There's no reason for parents of any older dancers to be there because you're not doing costumes. The two small groups, uh, Silhouette and Haunted, will rehearse after we run the time blocks. Obviously, if you don't dance until 6.30, you don't need to be there at 4.45. Um, it's just like last week, whenever I asked you to be there 20 to 30 minutes ahead of time, that's kind of what we're going with this week as well. Um, so I hope that clarifies some things. I know there's lots of questions about stage one. I'm trying to avoid sending you 43 emails about stage one. So I have everything typed up, but I also got a brand new email right before I left school about our time blocks. So I'm waiting to hear back from what I answered Amy and what she has to say about Saturday um, because they haven't even completed the minute by minute schedule. So when you look at the general schedule and it has categories, that doesn't really make sense because we're not dancing by category. You're dancing in the order that the directors put you in. So I had to put everything in order. I did the very best I could to accommodate everyone. They will hold if we're not ready to go on stage because I'm concerned about the senior group time block. Um, but I promise I'm taking care of everything. It's just a matter of being patient and getting one email versus me sending out four emails um, all about stage one and you possibly missing something. You will have your wristbands before you leave on Saturday. You will have shirts before you leave on Saturday or Friday whenever you're leaving. Um, I promise information is coming to you, um, but I'm trying to send everything at once. So tonight, the times are labeled as rehearsal times. The order is just labeled as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because I do not have final times for Saturday yet. We are reversing the blocks for today just so that we can send little kids home early. On Saturday, around two o'clock, it will start with the senior group and littles solo duo trio time block. And then it will go to the opposite. The littles have the groups and the solo duo trio for the older kids plus production. That will be the second time block. Um, if you have any questions, please wait on the email or if it's a very pressing matter about tonight, please text me and ask me because I know a lot of texts are going around and so I'm getting texts because wrong information is being sent. So. If you need to be in the studio tonight to feed your uh, child, that's fine, but it needs to be in the front two rooms, no parents in the lobby. Everybody will be finished after production except for Silhouette and Haunted, and those will stay until 8.45 or nine o'clock with Kelsey. If you have questions, text me. I promise info is coming. I'm not gonna leave you stranded without any information. Okay, love you, see you tonight, bye.